Hi everyone, welcome to another CountyCom One Take video. This is my one opportunity to show you what we've been working on behind the scenes. So, those of you that follow CountyCom history know that about 20 some years ago, uh, we made a watch for the US military called the Mill Shock. And if you Google search it, you know, they go for ungodly amounts of money now. And it was a heavily modified digital wristwatch uh, to military specs and very successful um contract ended we quit manufacturing them we got into other things okay mm, about six months ago we got a call uh from a uh, another government that uh, friendly to the u.s and they said hey want to buy mill shocks and we looked at evaluated considered making mill shocks and it didn't make business sense it didn't make sense for the for the government didn't make sense for us um it just didn't make sense so what we did come up with though is we said let us build you a watch forget about the mill shock let us make you something better and i think this is it and well i know this is what they got and this is what they're happy with and let's talk about this watch and what what makes it uh, uh exceptional in my book so let's start with, so the Milshock was very small. It was a standard, you know, small digital watch. This is much bigger. Uh, about two, inch, two inches across, you know, the face. That makes it easy to read. That's huge for somebody uh, whose, whose eyes are, are getting a little older. So it's easy, it's easy to read. That's, that's one of the big things. Uh, very, very simple. Has very, very simple modes. Uh, on this one, you can see the little the little uh, bar graph there on the left side says that it will charm, chime, sorry, chime every hour. So on the hour, it chimes. It tells me that it's Tuesday. Today's date is February 21st. That's a lie. And it's 1025 uh, in the, in the mo actually, this says it's 1025 and 39 seconds. Okay. Um... These, so these watches are called the SOP Mod 2. And that's Special Operations Peculiar Modification Number 2. Mod 1 was the, G, was the uh, Mill Shock. And uh, so this is Mod 2. So this is the latest and greatest. What do we got going on on this one? Oh, this tells us that we're in 12-hour format because that PM there says we're, it's, it's 12.42 PM. It's Tuesday the 21st. That's all good. What is this watch telling us? Same thing. So it's Wednesday, you know, all that. Very, very simple little watch. We'll talk about it. Uh, one of the features they wanted was didn't want barometer, didn't want G GPS, didn't want, they didn't want anything. They wanted it to uh, bare bones simple. Uh, we said, hey, we can still add this. No, don't want any features. Want to keep it really, really simple for the operator in the field. So that you're going you're gonna to love that. Uh, so let's go back. It's, it's uh, about two inches, two inches across. Uh, that makes it 15% larger than the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 the regular mill shock and the screen 45% larger than the mill shock screen. So we really think that's, that is cool. It fits 20 millimeter, uh, bands. Cool thing is it's going to come to you on a 20 millimeter, uh, mil spec nylon strapped with a titanium buckle. So I gotta tell you, that's that's a bunch of money right there. Uh, but quantity quantity is our friend. It's you know we're we're, we're saving uh, we're saving money with with uh, volume, and uh, because they bought a lot of mill shocks, we were able to make a lot of ban or I'm sorry, they bought a lot of uh, sop mod twos, and we call it the TDW. What is the TDW? And we're almost embarrassed to say that throw down. It's the throw down watch. Uh, it's it's simple. It's not expensive. It's robust. Uh, you know, it's not expensive now. Twenty years from now, I hope that you know it'd be interesting to see if these are seven hundred dollar watches in twenty years. I I don't think so. They're they're not uh, that way. But today's price, very 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 affordable. You're gonna love that. Uh, like I said, it fits a twenty millimeter band. These, these uh, bands are 11 inches, 
Uh, it'll fit over, you know, uh, you know, most people's wrists. Uh, we're 15 millimeters, uh, thick, which that was the easiest way to measure it. I, you know, I'm not a fan of, uh, the metric. I like to use imperial measurements, but it is exactly 15 millimeters thick. So I wanted to share that with you. It's indestructible. No, it's not indestructible. You can destroy it. I, I know you guys, but very, very, it's, it's very, very robust that you're going to love. Um, one of the other features I like is that it doesn't require a screwdriver to change the bars. Oh, oh, here we go. doesn't require a screwdriver to change the band. And by the way, the little bars are right there. You can, you can pry them out and uh, makes changing a band really easy. The other thing is we're going to give you some extra spring bars. So that's a nice, uh, that's just a nice little extra bonus. So you're going to get some spring bars out of the deal. Because, uh, you know, anytime you're doing... Uh, any time you're doing a uh, something with a spring bar, eh, you have an opportunity to lose it. Uh, you know, so you should not need to, but if you can't, if you need to, you can. If you need to or want to, you can. Um, so let's 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 just walk about the menu. So anyway, they come in three flavors: orange, black, and green. Uh, needless to say, the uh, the contract was for black and green. They did take some a small uh, quantity of orange, and we have permission to sell whatever we've got left over. So we're going to take care of that uh, right here. So orange, we got a bunch of orange right now. Uh, we do have some black. We do have some green. Uh, oh, something to tell you about. Here's your pro tip, by the way. So here is the one I, I I'm wearing a prototype. Uh, it's, which it actually ends up being exactly the same. But on it is when the watch comes to you, there is there it is. You see it. Uh, this watch has had, had this little protector removed. Uh, it's a protector. And it uh, I've left it on my watch for the last uh, long time just to protect it. But now it's off. So when you get your watch, there's your pro tip is it comes with this little thing that you might not believe it is actually there. It looks very, very clear. I wouldn't have taken it off other than for the educational benefits that it just provided you. But get your fingernail in there. Now it feels like glass. But get your fingernail in there, scrape that off. Makes it a little clearer, not much, but a little bit. And that's why we took them off here on this watch to, that we're going to show you today. So get rid of that little clear thing. You don't need that. There's your, that's one pro tip. I'm sure that we'll have some other pro tips for you. Let's see. So I'm going to get this here. I zoomed in on that. So like I said, they wanted it very, very simple. This bottom left button is mode. Here's your modes. This is your standard time mode. Next one, stopwatch. Very, very simple. Start the stopwatch. There we go. Boom. I can stop it. I can start it. All that good stuff. And this one should, this is our light button. And it provides the electroluminescent back. Okay, so let's say I've finished timing and I want to reset. This is the upper left-hand button that says reset, reset. There we go. So I can just go toot, toot, toot. And, well, look at that, split second. So, hey, I'm writing this down, six seconds and... 1800s and I can continue back on. So it does do the split. That's very, very cool. That's a neat feature. So I'm going to stop that and I'm going to reset it. Let's get it back to zero and let's click our next mode. Okay. That's our next mode is it's Tuesday. You know, we got all that stopwatch. We got that alarm. So currently I've got the little squiggly line there. It's a little bar. Let me focus on that again. It's a little little bar graph. That is an hourly chime. Every hour it gives a little beep. It's a little beep. You might not want to sleep with it, uh, you know, which you may not want to have if you're doing something tactical. The other thing is there is like a wake up alarm at one one o'clock. So to edit that, I am going to look at that. So the the little bell. That is, says I've got a wake-up alarm at 1 o'clock. I turned that on. I want that off. 
Look at that, nothing. It, so right now I've got no alarms at all, no beeps. The watch will stay quiet except for the beeps when you're pressing the buttons. So there, there's my wake up alarm. There's my hourly chime. There's both of them. And there's the mode I run in, which is none of them. Okay, next mode. Okay, we're back to, there it is, Tuesday. Then I go into stopwatch. Then I go into alarm. And oh, look at this. It looks like my regular mode, except that's flashing. That's how I change the time. Um, I can zero that out just by pressing the upper right-hand corner. So, hey, we're waiting for our time standard, our time stamp, and, you know, 34 and zero seconds. Boom, I press that, and I, I, I've hacked the watch. I've uh, synced the watch up. If I need to move other... Um, there's my hours. I want to, it, you know, I want to make it 11 a.m. Okay. Uh, 11 hours, 34 minutes. The A stands for a.m., which means I'm in a 12-hour format right now. Um, and there's, you know, it's 12. Now it's, look, it's, it's, it's 2, 34, P. I'm in a, still in a 12-hour format, but that's the p.m. time. So, do, 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 I can do that. There I can adjust it. It's you know it says it's February twenty first. I can, I can make it you know any month month I want. Let's see. Today actually is ten three. So I let's just go. Let's make it ten three. So now I'm going to. Ten twenty uh, one two three. Good. Boom. And today actually is Monday. So I'm gonna right hand button Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday Monday. And left hand button, and there we are. Now we're back to back to that. When we are all done, you know, this is just our setup mode. When we're all done with our mode, we just hit that. We're back to go, back back to back to uh, to running it, moving it into twenty four hour mode. Let me let me get it over into the set mode. I know I have to do that. This is something I have not fooled with very much. Uh, I'm going to grab the little instruction sheet, and you and I are going to learn how to do this together. Um, I know that it involves, let's see, I know it involves, I have to go to, I think, re reset. And, oh, and then I, I power through. Look at that. See the H? The H stands for I am in 24-hour format. So all I do is, I run, it, it's got a 12-hour, look at that. There's 19 hours, 18 hours, 19 hours, 36 minutes. So I run through the, the uh, here, let's just say, okay, current time is 7.47 a.m. So let me set this up for 7. I didn't want to do that, but anyway, 7. Go back to my set mode, and I'm going to go hit the reset. There we go, 736. So I said it's 748 right now. So 37, 38, 39, 40, 43, 45, 46, 47, 48. I missed it. I can go back, or we can just wait. That's, you know, I'm going to hit mode. Okay. So here it is. I'm. It's ten three. Today is Monday. It's seven forty nine a.m. All of that is true. So now I want to make this in twenty four hour format. All I do is I press the mode button and I go over to. This is my setup mode for my clock, right? And I hit the reset to the hours. Now I want to move the hours by pressing the right upper button. Do do do. I'm going through. The entire, so it's like I've got, you know, the entire clock, 10, 11, 12. Oh, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven hours, 49 minutes. And I click mode. Okay, so I don't have AM, PM showing anymore. We are in 24-hour format. So at uh, 1 o'clock this afternoon, it'll be showing 1,300 hours. Two o'clock, it'll be showing 1,400 hours. And that is 
kind of the, that's the rundown. I even gave you the pro tip about removing the, uh, the sticker. Let's get back on focus on all of those. Uh, so we've got these. Like I said, these are overrun from this contract. I don't know if the contract's going to be renewed again or not. Did we provide every person in that country a watch? Uh, I don't think so. Do we provide every soldier? I think we did a pretty good job. I'm sure. There may or may not be additional orders. Um, so if you want one of these, you know, as just county com is that way. If you're something you see and you like and your heart is set on it, get it because we don't know if it will be here tomorrow. It's just like Costco. If you're at Costco and you see something you need, you get it because it might not be there tomorrow. Kind of the same thing with the products at county com. This would definitely be one of those products. Oh, how, t how waterproof is this? Waterproof is a strong word. I'd like to use the word water resistant. We, these are not dive watches, but they are rated for uh, submersions to 50 meters. That's not 50 meters of scuba diving or high diving because that all puts extra pressure on the watch. That's a dunk to 50 meters. Uh, you know, that's a quick and e easy thing. So washing your hands, not a problem. Hanging out in your pool, not a problem. Hot tub, we never recommend any watches into the hot tub. Uh, the, the, heats, the heat from hot tubs does strange things to seals, mechanical watches, electronic watches, plastic watches, steel watches, doesn't matter. So we never recommend hot tub for any watch, ours or anybody else's. You, uh, you, take your, you call, call up Rolex, see if you, if you can wear your Rolex in the hot tub. They're going to freak out and, you know, if you want to excite, excite them, tell them you did that. And, but yeah, don't, don't wear this in the hot tub, wear it in the pool, you know, wear it in the river, wear it in the creek, wear it, you know, wear it in the ocean, uh, uh, you know, just wear it, wear it, use it, enjoy it. Uh, it didn't cost you a fortune, easy to read, great stuff. Battery, how often are you going to need to change the battery? We have a projected lifespan of three years on this. So we're telling you three years. So let's, let's call it, you know, if you get two years out of here, you know, that's, that's exceptional. That's a cool watch that'll run for two years. Good news is you're going to get three out of this thing. The case, it's a resin case. That's, that's a fancy word to say. Uh, it's a hybrid plastic, very, very rugged. Um, the band is 11 inches long. I already mentioned that. Uh, 20 millimeter band. So if you need to buy additional bands or... I don't know why you would want to, but if you need to, if you want to, if you desire to, you can. Uh, it'll fit the, the Mill Series bands. It'll also fit the Zulu bands, which are a little thicker. Take some little finessing to get them on there, but, but they can. But this is the watch they wanted, the titanium uh, uh, buckle uh, mill spec. This is the one we provided. This is the one you're going to get uh, with your watch. Um, kind of think we've just about covered it all. Is there anything else I need to cover on this? Yeah, I, 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 took, I said three colors. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Well, folks, I hope you enjoy the, uh, this quick look at this, uh, this uh, TDW Throwdown Watch Sump Mod 2. This is our second uh, uh, digital military chronograph uh, in county comm history. Uh, like I said, I've been wearing it for a couple of months now. Uh, it's quite the watch. Okay, look forward to seeing you on our next video. Until, until then, stay safe, stay alert.